Should you use a title company or a lawyer to close your property? That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hi there, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest. I'm a longtime real estate investor. This channel is totally devoted to helping you create cash flow and passive income by using buy and hold real estate. And today I had this question from one of our investors, should I use a title company or a lawyer to close my property? And a simple answer is yes. <laughs> I know that's not helpful, but it depends honestly on where you are located to do the job. And it all comes down to personal preference. Now, personally, in a lot of the states that I invest in, a title company will do the job for you and you don't need to use a lawyer. Now, the, for instance, a title company, what does a title company do? Well, for where I buy most of my properties and where our investors buy their properties, we use a title company. They're going to do a title search. Okay, They're going to spend the time going through the tax records, calling the tax assessor's office. They are going to go through and pour through the history of that property. That's what they get paid to do. So when you ask about closing costs, that's built into your closing costs, that title search, title commitment, title insurance. And so a good title company is going to go through the history of that property and really trace the sale of that property through the years to make sure that there are no hidden liens on the property or back taxes that need to be worried about or paid. They're going to track that history so that you as the buyer are protected at the end of the day. Um, of course, they're going to prepare your closing documents. They're going to get your closing package all together. You are going to wire them your money for closing. They're going to hold it in an escrow account and then they are going to complete the sale of that property. Uh, and again, they are going to provide that title insurance so that God forbid something happens one year from now um, and uh, you know a family member who maybe wants to lay claim to that property that you purchased suddenly shows up out of the woodwork and says, wait a minute, that's my property. They have insurance, they have title insurance on the property so you are protected as the buyer of that property. So I typically will work with title companies, but it really depends on the state that you're in. So for instance, the state of New Jersey, you do not need to use a lawyer to close your property, but you may choose to. And that lawyer may work with a title company. Uh, New York City, for instance, you have to use a lawyer to close your property. Um, and so you can use a lawyer to prepare all of, the, all of the closing documents, get all of the closing package together, and then work with a title company to actually prepare the HUD agreement, which is the official federal closing document. So you may have a lawyer who works with the title company to close uh, your property. And then other states don't use a title company at all. For instance, the state of North Carolina. I own some properties in North Carolina, and you just use a lawyer. The lawyer will do all of that title work for you. So again, they will do the title search. They will look through the history of the property to see how it's been transferred over the years to see if there's any weird outstanding liens or uh, if there's anything that is going to inhibit the sale or closing of that property and the transfer of ownership to you. Of course, they are going to prepare the deed. That is going to get filed at the county level so that you are now the owner of record on the deed. All of that is going to be prepared by the lawyer in certain states. So it really comes down to personal preference when you have the option to choose between a lawyer or a title company. Um, or in certain states, you are required to use one over the other. So in the state of North Carolina, like I said, for instance, you use a lawyer to close the property and they basically do the job of the title company. And there's been a few interesting moves over the past few years about these and whether or not the lawyers are sort of battling the title companies and maybe the title companies feel like they're being squeezed out a little bit by lawyers and some of the lawyer unions that are sort of working their way through the courthouses. I mean, the bottom line is a lot of people who work in the state legislature at certain states are lawyers. And so when you have those lawyers who lean on other lawyers and say, hey, we could make some more money here. Could you lean on the state legislature a little bit? We'd like to make this a law that you need to use an attorney to close this property. So we've seen in certain states a little bit of a battle going on between title companies and lawyers. But for the most part, they are friendly and they work hand in hand. And it's always fine to hire a lawyer on top of a title company, but you may be paying more than you need to. So the, you know, at the end of the day, if the title company is going to do all the same work, you probably don't need to spend the extra you know, $1,500 to hire a lawyer on top of hiring the title company. 
So know your state's rules. What are you allowed to do in that particular state? And then that should help you with your decision on how you want to close your property. So I hope that answers your question. It really comes down to the state and your personal preference, but they're basically gonna do the same thing. Please subscribe to my channel. The big subscribe button is right there. And if you scroll down into the description below this video, you'll see a bunch of different playlists. If you're just getting started in real estate investing or real estate news, we have a bunch of different playlists uh, where we really try to help you become a better real estate investor. I'm Clayton Morris. We'll see you back here. We publish videos multiple times a week. Go out there, take action and become a real estate investor.